Hello, hello, my peeps. What's up? It is your girl, health coach Tamala, the juice magician, coming to you with What's Up Wednesday. Talk about what's up, what is going on, what is going on in this world, what is going on with me, what is going on with you. What's up? So, today, um, I decided to do, uh, I know people do Wellness Wednesday, and I do have a Wellness Wednesday that I, that I uh, do on another channel. But I thought What's Up Wednesday would be exciting because it can be about anything. And I do want to invite you guys, if you want to talk about something on What's Up Wednesday, if you want to share anything, support your business, promote your business, um, share about a concern you have, health care, I mean health and wellness concern, juice and concern, um, just something with your body, stress, whatever it is, on What's Up Wednesday is the perfect time to talk about it so I decided to go to do it from outside because it's such a beautiful 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 day I don't know where everyone is um, you know everyone is located where everyone is viewing from but I am in uh, Texas and the weather is beautiful and I have my tea so I'm feeling good so that's what's up so anyway um, what I want to talk about today is about this COVID now this is so interesting to me because y'all know COVID has uh, been running rampant and everybody's talking about how, how uh, serious it is. Um, you know, a lot of people are being affected by the coronavirus, by COVID. And yeah, it's a big deal. So anywho, we've been pretty safe, trying to keep it pretty safe. When I say we, I mean me, my husband, my daughter, we've been trying to keep it pretty safe taking precautions, of course, wearing the mask, washing hands. But we've been going out in public a little bit and doing a few uh, this and that, you know, little things. But for the most part, keeping it safe. We really haven't had any scares. We've been, you know, um, just just keeping it safe. And at the beginning, my husband had to be tested, I think, at least twice because um, of things that happened on his job. So thank God he was negative both times. So we've been, you know, pretty safe at our house. So anyway... Um, on New Year's Day, on New Year's Day, I decided to go get my hair done. I wanted to get my hair uh, retwisted, and uh, when I went to go get my hair retwisted, I didn't want to take my daughter with me. I was like, okay, I don't want to take her with me. I don't want her to sit up there for one. I know she gets bored and gets antsy, and for two, I feel like she, you know, deserved a play date. So, I called a family member, and I hadn't heard anything. You know, everybody's been doing good. You know, we, we on watch and see if anybody's been affected in the family. Everybody's been doing good. So, I feel comfortable about sending my daughter over to my family member's house while I go get my hair done. So, that's fine. I dropped her off, went and got my hair done. She was over there for pretty much all day, let's say about five hours. And um, so, she was over there all day. And when we went to pick her up, we stayed over there for at least another hour. So we walked around, um, touched things in the kitchen, you know, just walking around doing things that you would normally do. Fine, cool, we leave. However, a few days later, my sis my um my family members started saying that people were getting sick like the household was getting sick she didn't know you know what was going on but people were getting sick she just wanted to make me aware I'm like uh oh okay that doesn't sound good so she told me that people were getting sick I was kind of like you know worry but not worry because I try not to worry um and then just days started progressing she started saying okay people are really sick and we're gonna go get tested and so, um, my family member, she went, they went and got tested. People got tested and they found out that everyone in the household was positive. And so, you know, at this point I was like, oh my God, but it had been like eight days since we've been there and no one in my household had exhibited any symptoms. And I'm like, okay, I know that sometimes you can be asymptomatic, but is it possible for all three of us to be asymptomatic? Like no one ex exhibited any symptoms. And so, um, um, I, I kind of waited, waited out in the back of my mind. It was always a concern cause I'm steady sending my daughter to school. I'm going to work, but I feel like, no, we're good because it's already been, you know, a significant amount of time. And so around day 10, which was just the other day, 
I I woke up, I was feeling good, but I, I worked like Sunday in my kitchen all day, meal prepping and just doing the things that I do on Sundays. And once I finished, like after about eight hours on my feet in the kitchen uh, working, I started feeling a lot of stiffness in my neck. My neck was so stiff. And I was like, okay, this doesn't feel good. So my neck stiff caused my throat to hurt because it was just like so much strain, so much pressure. Now my throat is hurting. Then that causes a headache. <laughs> it's just so much strain going on at the this part of my body. I was like, oh my gosh. So the next day, which was uh, Monday, I decided, um, I woke up and it's like it was stiffer, like it was getting worse, it wasn't getting better. And I was like, Lord, let me go ahead and go take a COVID test because I don't want to send my daughter to school another day and I don't want to go to work another day knowing that it's possible that we could have COVID because I know that we were exposed and we were in the vicinity of people who tested positive. So anyway, I go get tested. I felt like I didn't, but then it, it's, again, I feel like I did. <laughs> I just wasn't sure. But anyway, I went and got tested and thank God it was negative. And I'm thinking, like, how could we have dwelled in this house with a house full of people? I mean, like, five people, and they're all positive, and none, neither one of us were touched. Neither one of us were affected. And But two days after we were exposed, we started doing a cleanse. Like, on Sunday, January the 3rd, we started doing a cleanse. And so during that cleanse, we've been doing a lot of uh, alkaline, a lot of herbal teas. This is what I have right now. It's so good. A lot of herbal teas, a lot of alkaline, a lot of juice, a lot of just fresh eating. And so we were just really like honing in on nutrition just because, not even because of that, because we didn't even know that there was a factor, but just because this was our beginning of the year, jumpstart alkaline cleanse. And so we um, started this cleanse, and I was like, could that have something to do with why we didn't get affected? And I say cleanse, I mean everybody. Like I was giving my daughter herbal tea, um, a lot of alkaline tea, you know, just trying to keep our bodies um, in check, just in general. And so you know that they say that a disease cannot live in an alkaline body, and I feel like that is true. So that is my testimony for today. I really feel like the teas, the alkaline teas, and the teas I've been getting come from up for blends so the teas and uh the juices that i've been drinking and um the healthy eating that we've been engaging in since uh, january the third have has caused us not to be susceptible to this virus at that point and because it was just so interesting to me like how could we not how could we walk out unscathed and i'm telling you we were there talking no mask um in the kitchen um just because that's what they say they say if you catch covid more than likely it'll be somewhere familiar like a family member's house because that's when you seem to let your guard down like that's when you're more likely to okay i'm letting my guard down this is my people i can relax and so they say that's when you probably would catch it because when you're out and about you're more cautious you're like i don't want to touch this i don't touch that my mask is on i'm washing my hands sanitizing my hands and so I feel like that is so true because we did let our guard down. And then after the fact, as I reflect on now, I'm like, dang, we really could have just started something big in this house. Like it could have just really been bad for us. So I am grateful for the work that I that we've been putting in with our bodies. And that's why it's so important to really focus on your nutrition. Because the things that you eat, the things that you consume, the things that you put into your body can either attract disease or deflect disease and i really really i believed it before but i right now i'm a true believer that disease cannot live in an alkaline body like if you are filling your body with alkaline um things uh if you're really uh, uh fueling your body with nutrition and uh, nutrients that disease can't really cultivate there so i just had to share that guys it was a mental experience because I just wanted to like I I didn't know knew didn't know and it was just like but yeah that's what happened so that's what's up it's what's up Wednesday and that is what's up take care of your body make sure that you are feeding it the proper nutrients um, of course wear your mask and wash your hands and all the things that they're saying that we should do but I feel like if you take care of your body from the inside you can prevent some of the the from attracting some of the diseases and viruses and and bacteria and things that are in the environment so 
that's what's up it's your girl health coach tamla the juice magician and it's what's up wednesday and guess what that's what's up until next week i'll see you take care take care of your body eat drink eat and be well and be happy peace